In the opening shot, the camera pans across a vast field where a school orchestra practices. The sound of music fills the air as they march in perfect harmony. Suddenly, Leo, a member of the orchestra, spots a mysterious girl beneath a tree on the opposite side of the field. He comes to a sudden halt, causing a domino effect as other students crash into him, tumbling to the ground. When Leo looks up after the commotion, the girl has disappeared. As he regains his composure, Leo begins to narrate his poignant backstory. A young Leo, having lost his father, found solace in one of his father's ties. He and his mother relocated to the town of Micah, where Leo, always adorned in his father's tie, discovered a school without trophies, a peculiar norm at the time. To navigate this new environment, Leo mastered the art of being inconspicuous. Amidst the anonymity, he received annual birthday gifts, a collection of ties from an anonymous benefactor. These ties held significant meaning for him. Fast forward to the present. It's Leo's 16th birthday and the mysterious girl reappears. This year, alongside a tie, Leo's mother surprised him with a car. Leo stands fixated on an empty trophy shelf in the hallway, a symbolic void. His friend Kevin joins him, and they set off for class. As they walk, Leo contemplates the girl's sudden presence, a topic of intrigue among their friends. In class, Leo finds himself mesmerized as the girl, now seated in front of him, captures his attention. During lunch, Leo, Kevin, Tess, and Benny gather to enjoy their meal engaging in banter. Kevin's infatuation with a popular girl, Hillary, becomes a topic leading to an unexpected encounter with the new girl, Stargirl. Stargirl introduces herself and surprises Leo with a birthday song on her ukulele, leaving him and his friends bewildered. The scene transitions to Leo recording sounds for a show with Kevin. Despite Kevin's encouragement to ask Stargirl out, Leo remains unconvinced. Their teacher, Mr. Rubino, interrupts with casual inquiries about their summer. Kevin playfully claims that Leo's girlfriend will appear on their show, much to Leo's denial. After school, Kevin teases Leo about Stargirl's sparking speculation about her feelings. In a subsequent scene, Leo watches Stargirl, walking home as Kevin jokingly warns him not to abandon their friendship for a new romance. Leo, unsure of Stargirl's feelings, sits in his car, contemplating the unexpected turn of events. The narrative shifts to Leo arriving home to find a cupcake and a note from his working late mother, adding a touch of sweetness to the day's mysteries. Leo ignites the candle on the birthday cake, a flickering flame dancing in the dim light. With a swift exhale, he extinguishes the flame, marking the end of another year. The following day, Leo's eyes catch sight of Stargirl and the girl under the tree sharing a moment. A warm smile graces his face as he observes the scene unfold. In the latest Hot Seat episode, Kevin conducts an interview with Alan Furo, the bass drum player in the marching band. Leo managing sounds and camera positions earns Kevin's dissatisfaction. Throughout the day, Leo shadows Stargirl, a silent observer of her every move, unnoticed. He follows her home as the day winds down. A message from his mother inquiring about his return interrupts his quiet contemplation. At home, Leo's mother notices his prolonged focus on a challenging problem. Concerned, she probes and Leo insists he's fine. She smiles knowingly, assuring him that he can confide in her whenever he's ready. The next scene unfolds as the principal announces cafeteria menu, changes in upcoming events, including a speech competition and a football game on Friday. Friday arrives, the football game commences, and the marching band takes the field at halftime. Their performance, though familiar, draws yawns from the cheerleaders and nods from the audience. Stargirl emerges, captivating the field with her ukulele and voice. Applause echoes as she cheers for the Mud Frogs, inspiring the team to score their first touchdown. Leo, impressed, pays her a compliment, only to find her gone. In the subsequent scene, Leo seeks advice from Archie, discovering that Stargirl is homeschooled. Archie encourages Leo to talk to her about his feelings. In another scene, Stargirl, now labeled the school's good luck charm, attracts attention from the cheerleading team. Leo, watching from the sidelines, contemplates his approach. Kevin suggests involving her in the hot seat before she becomes too popular. After school, Leo discreetly trails Stargirl discovering painted pebbles near her home. As he picks one up, she catches him following her. A nervous exchange ensues, leading Leo to invite her to the hot seat. She declines, but invites him to meet her pet rat, Cinnamon. Leo, initially hesitant, overcomes his fear of rats under Stargirl's guidance. Their interaction ends with Stargirl leaving for dinner, leaving Leo smiling. Returning home, Leo brushes off his mother's curiosity about his whereabouts. He places the pebble from Stargirl's house on his table, reflecting on the day. The following day unfolds with another football game where Stargirl performs with the cheerleaders. The Mud Frogs secure a victory, and Leo and Stargirl exchange waves. 
Kevin inquires about the hot seat, learning of Stargirl's rejection. In a surprising twist, she joins their table and reveals her participation in the speech competition. After school, Leo approaches Stargirl, admitting his uncertainty about making plans without a phone. Their conversation deepens as they discuss their lives, discovering shared interests. At one point, Stargirl whimsically asks Leo to scream, breaking the moment with her own laughter. They walk to a cliff's edge and as darkness falls, they sit together. Stargirl instructs Leo to close his eyes, setting the stage for an intriguing turn of events. She inquires if he's ever experienced true idleness, the art of doing absolutely nothing. In that serene moment, she imparts a lesson, a guiding light for finding one's way in moments of uncertainty. Her eyes shut as she speaks, and he's drawn into the simplicity of her wisdom. Curious, he questions how she achieves this state of doing nothing. Stargirl shares her secret, describing the act of clearing her mind and merging with her surroundings. In this state, she becomes everything, even the rain. Coincidentally, raindrops begin to fall, prompting Leo to open his eyes, contemplating whether she summoned the rain. Their playful rendezvous under the downpour ensues. In the subsequent scene, Kevin takes the stage for the speech competition. As he concludes his speech, applause erupts from the audience. The spotlight then shifts to Stargirl, the next contestant. Her speech captivates the audience, and when the results are unveiled, she emerges victorious, much to Kevin's dismay. Amidst divided loyalties, Leo feels the weight of awkwardness torn between friends. Kevin exits the stage in frustration. Later, Leo confides in Archie about the developments at school, Stargirl's triumph over Kevin, and the football team's consecutive victories since her arrival. Leo ponders whether she possesses magical qualities, but Archie advises him to discern the truth for himself. In the subsequent scene, Leo accompanies Stargirl on a mission to return a bike to Hillary's younger brother who had an accident. Stargirl discovered the bike at a thrift store and wants to return it before the brother's discharge from the hospital. Placing the bike by the house, Leo raises the topic of the birthday ties. Suspecting Stargirl as the sender, she playfully feigns ignorance, a mischievous smile dancing on her lips. Inside Stargirl's house, Leo meets her mother, Anna, who joyfully welcomes her daughter's newfound friendship. They spend time in Stargirl's room devoid of glitters and ribbons, which are reserved for her secret office. Exploring her music records, Leo uncovers his father's favorite tunes. Stargirl asks if he sings and he confesses that he no longer does. Despite her attempt to gift him records, he declines, lacking a record player. Satisfied with perusing her collection, Leo leaves only to pull out his earpiece. Unexpectedly, Stargirl rushes out, ensuring he faces her before sealing the moment with a kiss. She retreats with a playful dash, leaving Leo grinning with joy. With this unexpected kiss, Stargirl and Leo embark on an official journey of dating, exploring each other's worlds, attending games, and sharing kisses in the heart of the field. Leo, now the happiest guy in town, revels in the joy of finally winning the heart he desired. In the ensuing scene, the championship game kicks off, players giving their all while Leo and Stargirl share the moment. Amidst the excitement, she invites Leo to join her in Tucson for the Nationals, where she'll be competing. His agreement reflects all at the prospect of her speaking in front of a large audience. As halftime arrives, Stargirl takes center stage alongside cheerleaders and marching bands, injecting energy into the field with her singing and dancing. The game resumes, the mud frogs dominating, and even a player high-fives Stargirl in celebration. However, tension rises and an opposing player sustains an injury. The ambulance arrives and Stargirl rushes to assist, leaving despite protests from students who argue they need her. Unheard, she departs with the injured student. Later that evening, Leo waits for Stargirl, delivering her belongings and revealing the unfortunate game outcome. Stargirl assures him the injured player will recover. Inside, Leo learns the team disintegrated without her and they express frustration. Questioning her decision to leave with the injured player, Leo discovers her concern for his well-being. To lift her spirits, he sings the track she recommended and they harmonize on her ukulele. Their song concludes with a smile and a kiss. Returning home, Leo's mother joyfully welcomes him. But when she learns about his girlfriend, she bursts into laughter, leaving Leo annoyed. In the subsequent scene, Leo and Stargirl walk hand in hand through a crowd, gossip and glares trailing them. They sit in an empty corridor, contemplating whether to explain to the students. Stargirl suggests Leo inform Kevin of her desire to be on the show. After school, Leo joins his friends at a restaurant where tensions rise. Kevin accuses Leo of returning only now that Stargirl faces backlash. Leo clarifies the situation and reveals Stargirl's interest in the hot seat. Tess is skeptical, but Kevin sees an opportunity for a great episode and begins planning. The hot seat interview begins with Kevin introducing Stargirl. The revelation that her birth name is Susan changed to Stargirl 
because she believes people are made from dead stars, incites scoffs and anger. Kevin confronts her about betraying the school, but Stargirl's explanations face disagreement. Hillary accuses her of presuming to know what people want, leading to a heated exchange. Stargirl tearfully leaves the room concluding the episode. In the next scene, Leo walks the school hallways, recalling his conversation with Stargirl. Attempting to persuade her to conform, she refuses, embracing her uniqueness. Alone at a table, he receives messages from an unknown number, but ignores them. When Stargirl appears in a more conventional attire, she clarifies her identity as Susan and questions Leo's commitment to accompany her to Tuxin, to which he affirms his intention. In the subsequent scenes, Mr. Rabino drives Leo and Stargirl to Tuxin. Curious about her speech, he inquires and Stargirl reveals a change from her original draft. During the journey, Leo seizes the moment texting her a winter ball invitation. Mr. Rabino disapproves, but Stargirl accepts, commemorating the agreement with a selfie. At the speech competition, Stargirl deviates from her planned speech, opting for an impromptu expression of her true feelings. Surprisingly, the audience applauds her authenticity, celebrating her departure from the expected. Returning, Leo smiles at Stargirl, clutching her first place award. Back at school, the principal welcomes them, and Stargirl's trophy finds a place on the once empty shelf. However, the lack of congratulations from classmates is notable. The principal promises an announcement the next day, and Mr. Robino expresses pride. Leo apologizes to Stargirl for his misunderstanding, but she leaves. Upset, he didn't pay attention to her speech and confused by his use of the name Susan. In the subsequent scene, Kevin calls Leo, checking on his absence from school. Unexpectedly, Kevin supports Stargirl's victory, reminiscing about their meeting and comparing her actions to picking people up. Leo apologizes for the previous episode, but Kevin dismisses the need for an apology, considering it legendary. The next day, Stargirl sends Leo a package containing his father's favorite record and a record player. The enclosed note encourages him to attend the ball, promising surprises. Leo discusses societal perceptions with his mother, finding reassurance in her words about being true to oneself. They explore his father's records in the garage before Leo listens to one in bed. In the subsequent scene, Leo arrives at the winter ball wearing a tie Stargirl had gifted him. Stargirl appears, momentarily drawing attention, and Leo struggles to describe her beauty. She hints at a surprise, gently caressing his face before leaving. To his shock, Leo is announced as the singer for the next song. Though nervous initially, he captivates the crowd by recalling cherished memories. Stargirl dances as he sings, leading the crowd outside. Amidst falling snow, everyone rejoices. Returning to the venue, Stargirl encounters an unhappy Hillary. Apologizing, Stargirl flees when met with silence. Leo tries to follow, but loses her. Narrating, Leo reveals she disappeared, never to be seen again. Her mother sold the house, erasing her magical presence. In the next scene, Archie introduces Leo to Stargirl's office, a space revealing her true self. Despite her absence, she continued sending gifts. Stories circulated about her, evolving into tales of ghosts, aliens, and imagined figures. Leo graduates, goes to college, and returns on vacation to discuss the fantastical stories with friends. Wondering if she was real, Leo visits the cliff's edge and finally screams. Thank you for watching.